Today we are going to make some uh, colored beads for steelhead and trout. Um, you need a couple things to do this. Uh, there's two ways to go about this. You can get some inexpensive beads. Uh, I have some six millimeters and some ten or eight millimeters here. Um, this happens to be 330 for about three dollars. Uh, you'll need some paint. Any type of paint will do. Um, as long as it dries and is not water soluble. And then the last thing you'll need is some clear lacquer. Alright, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to take a clear Ziploc bag, and we're going to open up some of these 8mm beads. And then we're going to pour some into the bag. You can make as little or as many as you want. It's up to you. Alright, we're open the bag up a little bit. We're going to take a little bit of the paint and we're going to just put three, four drops of paint in. We'll take the bag, fold it over to seal it, and shake the beads around. You can see they're starting to take on some color. I want these to be a little darker, so we're going to add a little more paint. Shake them up. You see they're a little darker. Alright, in this little clip we're going to take uh, model beads, or excuse me, we're going to take a single color bead and model them. Now you can do this with existing beads uh, or beads that you've colored yourself. We're just going to take a few of the beads, dump them back in our plastic bag. We take a little bit of white. That's up to you. You could use white, you can use ivory. Um, it just depends on the effect you want. I'm going to seal them in there. A whole lot of air. Bounce them around a little bit. Spread the color out as much as we want. Alright, once we get them to where we want them, we're just going to take them and pour them out on a piece of cardboard, a piece of paper. Doesn't really matter. Once they're out, we're just going to spread them out just a little bit and let them dry. Once our, uh, our white model beads have dried, we're going to hit them with a little bit of lacquer, roll them around a little bit, get them a little bit more, and let them dry. Uh, the result will be a bead that's uh, got a little more white, a little spotting, um, you know, <coughs> looks like an egg that's been in the water for a couple days. <coughs> 